How do I write? Uh, I, 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 I work on a computer um, and I go in long spurts and then I kind of forget about what's happening in the outside world and let the mail pile up and forget to feed my dog and, and until somebody reminds me that I have to get back to the land of the living and then um, hopefully you do that enough times and, and something comes out that looks vaguely like a screenplay. I haven't, I haven't been able to master the art of, of, of writing and multitasking at the same time. I do admire writers that can do that, that can sort of write in the morning and then take a phone call two hours later. That's quite difficult for me. It's a very specific and, and, and acute pleasure to see your work being interpreted and performed and brought to life by a good actor. That's, that's, um, it, 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 that's something very special that, um, that, that a screenwriter gets to enjoy. And, and, and whether you see that on set or you see it in the, in, in the finished film, it almost doesn't matter. But um, it's that, it's that uh, added kind of turbocharging that the actor brings to it that's so exciting. Catherine and I have done three movies together, and, and over the course of that time, we've developed a shorthand, which is quite helpful in, in, in terms of arriving at the story that, that, that is, that is going to be told. We're able to discuss things in a way that's maybe uh, a little bit more efficient than it would be if it was a director that I hadn't worked with before. And I have a sense of what she um, is looking to do with, with her work, and I think um, that goes the other way, too. And so, um, I mean, any time in Hollywood you can work with the same person more than once, it's, it's kind of a gift. Detroit is based on a true event that took place in 1967. So we, we did two things, really. We looked at documentary evidence, which involved uh, police investigations and court records, interviews that were conducted contemporaneously at the time. And then we also went back and interviewed people who were still around who had lived through the events. And that was about a four or five month process and I actually had a team of journalists working for me, uh, helping with that. And all of that material really helped inform the screenplay. Well, one of the things you're looking for in the research is to try to get as close to the truth as you can. Uh, this particular story revolves around a crime, and nobody was ever convicted of the crime, even though three young African-American men were killed. So one of the things you're looking for is to try to nail down some sense of guilt and innocence. And then, in a broader sense, uh, as a writer, I'm looking for things that will help me with the dialogue, things like uh, period detail, the way people thought, the way they expressed themselves, and um, all of that stuff goes into it. The way I think about it is there is all this research, and it is a, a story based on fact. But as a storyteller, I take responsibility for telling you a story that I've written. So it is, in that sense, historical fiction, and it's very much a tale. And um, really, the, the measure of that, of, of what goes in and what goes out, is what I would feel comfortable standing behind. I guess the biggest challenge so far has been finding stories that seem to hold enough in them um, to warrant the great amount of time and energy required to make a motion picture, because it's not just the writing, it's also all the expense of, of producing it and financing it and marketing it. So there, there, it's, it's quite a large enterprise and quite a, a, by the end of the day, quite a lot of people, hundreds of people are involved in it. And uh, it is difficult, I think, to find stories that are, that are worthy of that effort. I hate giving advice, but my, but my, but my, one, my one piece of general advice would be uh, find stories that you feel you absolutely have to tell. And um, I, I, I suppose that sounds trite, but if you really think about it, I think it, it'll, it'll, it would put a young writer in, in, in a good position to, to only do things they felt really passionate about.